Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to No I'm Not Human, which is a horror game where the world is ending because the sun is exploding, and you must sort for people seeking shelter in your home because some of them might be deadly doppelgangers called visitors. Hello? Well, before I have you answer that door, I'm gonna look around. Man, I feel like my house is just nothing but doors. Bedroom. Interesting UI here. I can't sleep. I can't miss people trying to find safe, safe place in my house. Can't open that. Can't open this. Can't open that. Can't open this. Can't open that. All right. So the most part, we can only really interact with the bedroom or this. People from the cities have already started coming to the neighbors. People have changed a lot. If they come to your place, let them in. Just be careful, okay? I've heard people. I've heard of people being killed by other people. Now I hear these stories more and more often. An acquaintance has said that creatures look like humans are coming. In a few days, they will tell me what signs can be used to distinguish them from humans. Are you one of them? You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come, and who knows what's next? What's going on out there? It's safe to look out the windows at night. And I even recommend it. That we at least realize what surrounds your house. It's hard to look out during the day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. Is it better to not leave the house now? Wait, what do we do now? Let's try this one. Let's summarize. There's gonna be people coming in at night. We decide who to let in and who not. It's hard to decide visually. We'll be told later by the 40s what to do. Look in the windows. You don't know what's going on. And keep your head down. It's dangerous everywhere now. I'll sleep in your cabinet tonight, and tomorrow you can do it yourself. Come and see me in the afternoon and we'll talk. See, so no one else will come tonight. I don't think I can direct to the windows yet. This soundtrack's interesting. <laughs> You're gonna sleep in my cabin. Are you sleeping in there? Good morning, dear viewers. What's this? It's the morning weather forecast. The sun keeps shining, the summer heat persists in our town. I know you're not like some kind of evil person. The duration of this heat has already broken a Guinness record, and it seems that the good weather isn't going anywhere. Scientists are closely monitoring solar activity and predict its intensification, but they assure us there's no need to worry. So grab your sunglasses, take your best swimsuits, and don't forget your hats. And most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been more weird behavior in the town, and experts think it's because of too much sun. You're harvesting like one of those doppelganger things. So I can watch TV. Right? Living room. I really like how this UI works. With like the opening of rooms to like a 2D. Here's our neighbor. Did you see the newscast? It's a nightmare. Okay, in this heat, every dialogue is going to waste your energy. So think about who you want to talk to. And one more thing, checking people for signs of guests who should be in the dialogue too. So be careful how you spend your energies. If you decide you've talked to everyone and don't want to sleep, have a beer. Go to the kitchen, have a cold one from the fridge. It'll use up all your energy and you'll want to sleep right away. That's kind of weird, don't you think? Let's preface this with a word just in case. During the day, you can talk to your house guests about all sorts of things. In dialogue with them, you can check for signs of fake people. Next, you can decide what to do with those who are not human in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anyone else, but still have the strength, drink beer in the kitchen. There's one in the fridge that brought you to chill. It'll make you so sleepy eepy. Eepy weepy. And wait for help. If they call an evacuation, stay close to my family. Now have a beer and get some rest. You look tired. By the way, I've heard that at night someone walks around asking if you're home alone. If you open the door, don't say that you're alone. You see Newcastle's nightmare. Okay, it's the same dialogue. Now I just wasted energy for no reason. Oopsie poopsie. Beer. How do I look out the windows? Pantry, I'm not sure there's anything to do here. I guess as we get more guests, people actually- It's not just gonna be like... 
I feel like the implication is... Remember that game I played where you like... You gotta let people into the apartment and they're like... Gotta like go for their files. So it's not quite exactly like that because you're gonna actually interact with the people out there. You watch graceful ballerinas gliding across the stage performing beautiful pirouettes. Classical dance brings back warm childhood memories and makes you feel making beautiful things. Time killer. Okay, I think the real game starts now. In distance, the neighbor's house. The neighbor is visiting you now. The lights are on the windows, and the family seems to be waiting for him to leave to, ha to leave you back home for dinner. I heard someone at the door. You see several teenagers just spending time in a field outside the window. They are sitting around chatting silently, not paying attention to you. Can't trust some teenagers. They're evil, I tell you. Oh, I see. The daytime is the talking cycle. Nighttime is the uh, actual survival cycle. They're going outside. Nobody's there. Even that colleagues for some other reason said not to show up in the street. Are they afraid of someone? Someone was at the window. I mean, the door, rather. <laughs> is my dad here? Can you call him? It wasn't scary during the day, but now it is. A lot of people went out at night. Tell me something about your dad. Hmm, I can tell you a lot. I think you're evil. Before he goes out, he likes to have a little beer. <laughs> or maybe you're just ugly. Maybe you're just an ugly kid. He leaves me lunch, dinner, and juice. Today I tried the beer he drinks. Ugh, it's awful. Why drink that when there's juice? Oh, please don't tell him. Did you get here safely? You know, it's like everything is turned upside down. People now stay indoors to sleep during the day. At night, they go out and do things. I was still not used to being afraid of the dark, but it seems like there's nothing to fear. Or is there? Yeah, so people are sleeping during the day because it's super hot. But now they're going out at night, but now there's like evil doppelgangers or weird things out there. I'm calling Dad for you. Good luck. Thanks, good luck to you too. We go now, I'm scared to be outside alone at night. We're gonna play a game. You mean some kind of game where you have to roll dice. Then walk on objects, I mean, like a chair or a couch. Then you have to build a road. Anyway, I'll show you later. Goodbye. Okay, it's your kid. Your kid, um, sorry about calling your kid ugly. I hear someone else at the door. I'm gonna check these windows real quick. I guess that's what he meant by, like, investigate the window, see what's going on. I was hiding in the bum, but I was kicked out. Why? Not everyone get out of my temper. I don't mean to offend anyone. Don't get me wrong. It's just, sometimes it gets sickening. You know how it is. What do you think? Will you let me in? You're not a visitor, ain't you? You think I'm one of those monsters? No, I'm no visitor. Asking anyone to hear their face about it is just crazy. It will be like that from now on. What did they kick you of like your last shelter? I was thinking to tell you something offensive, but I changed my mind. I told you, people just felt uncomfortable with me. There was all sorts of weirdos. And I think about it, maybe it was for the best they could kick me out. Those, those would have eaten me alive and not even noticed. You know, I'm gonna let you in. Thanks. Trusting people nowadays worth no more than a coin. That's why I appreciate the trust. Maybe. Alright, I can't promise anything. My logic is, this is twisted, is that you're abrasive, and if I were some kind of weird doppelganger thing, I would not be abrasive. Unless it was me thinking that Manly would, like, think an abrasive person is not a doppelganger, and knowing that, I would act abrasive. I think you're evil. Instead of disturbing so late, it's just too hot during the day. TV sets better not go out in the sun. Is there any corner for me? How did you get here? I didn't really intend to come. Yeah, the asphalt's already melting under my feet, but it's not that bad here yet. It will make you laugh. I got visitors in my house. Huh, can you imagine? They kicked me out of my own house. And I'm wandering around. The grist want to hide from the sun. What do you think will happen in the future? I don't know. Will I survive? Who will help me? How long will I have to search for help? I don't know what will happen next. I can't even guess. Aren't you scared of this? I'm very much so. 
I'm not trusting you. I mean, this could just be an art style. You better leave. Huh? Oh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for listening, May. Okay, I guess I'll move on then. Bye? Yeah, uh, bye. Seems no one else will come tonight. Alright. We interrupt your morning show for an urgent message. Today at 6.20am, there was a powerful solar energy eruption. This flare was larger than scientists predicted. The air temperatures have reached a critical level. The 40s declared a state of emergency. Maybe the first two people aren't, like, bad. They're just, like, they're trying to, like, lower your guard. We urge all citizens to avoid going outside during daylight hours. Now onto the news. Aliens? People emerging from the underground? No, this isn't a sci-fi story or tabloid headline. Eyewitnesses report contact with visitors around the city. One witness has counted a middle-aged man with perfectly white teeth. Turns out he was one of these visitors. Us. They. Similar incidents where visitors supporting perfect teeth have been observed. So if you want to identify them, check their teeth. Please stay alert and calm. Now let's move on to other news. But all you people were like, went to the dentist. None of y'all come into my house. That's you. See, the, the problem is I think they're doing it in style too, so you just can't go in their body shapes. Yeah, did you want something? How do you recognize a visitor? I know no more, more, I know no more than you. Visitors can be dead by perfectly white teeth. It's a fracking bullshit. They just want us to kill each other. Not clear why. I don't think our neighbor's here anymore. He just came for like one night. I feel like I maybe should have let that other person in at the start. I mean, I'll reload and do that at some point. What do you know about the cataclysm? The sun is exploding. There's a real hell on Earth. Without metaphors and purgatory. No one trusts anyone. People are literally being burned alive during the day. And people are ready to sell their own numbers for shelter. I want to believe in people, but it's hard to do so. See, this is why I think you aren't a visitor. I need to check on you. You want to check? Teeth. You want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have this taste of unhappiness that spoke on them. I think? Yellowish, huh? Well, don't frack with me with your tests. I'm not a visitor. I mean, that would exclude you already, right? Let's have a beer. Uh, I'm feeling grounds for the beer. The best thing right now is to sleep. Eepy weepy. Go to sleepy. <laughs> Alright, I'm already hearing people. Out of the window stands a neighbor and his daughter. They play happily together, forgetting the horror that is happening. Just for a moment. Watch this makes you remember your childhood and gives you a warm feeling of nostalgia. Their body is teenagers on the ground. Someone killed them. It seems to be recent because the blood hasn't dried yet. The picture gives you goosebumps and makes you feel uneasy. Nothing of value was lost. They didn't get off my lawn. Yeah. On the path stands a man as pale as death itself. There are strange folds in the skin. His skin seems to be too big for him. You can't see his eyes from here, but you can feel him drilling with his gaze. You feel fear and pray to God that the creepy visitor will avoid the house. Let me tell you right away, I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find peace at your place? Who are you? Doesn't matter anymore, you're asking if I'm a visitor, aren't you? No, I'm not a visitor, but there is something I want to ask of you. Later, I'm not sure yet. You don't mind the heat? Take off your jacket. No. It's okay if you don't let me in. I'll just keep moving, but I'm not gonna beg or bother you. I feel like you might be a visitor hiding your teeth. You better leave. I get it. Okay, bye. See what get a lot of gunpowder residue in your hands. Can you shoot me? Yeah, you need to pull it yourself. Bye. Uh Did you get closer?
How fortunate we are, we have witnessed first the consequences of human passion. The earth will be cleansed, the sun will do its work. It will go to a new clean world. That's the good news. What? What are you doing, human? Listen to me, I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun burns and burns us for a reason, it bakes the sins out of us. We've all done all sorts of things and now the sun is angry. It gives his hits to us. And that's a good thing, all our sins will be over, we'll live our lives properly. What's gonna happen to you then? What's it got to do with me? We're all gonna live well right after the sun helps. The sun will just help us get rid of all this stuff, you know? No? You don't understand everything, that's why you're alive. I mean, his teeth were... Not perfect. Do a lot more about all this. Even if you I forgot to ask. I mean, I feel like he's just drunk and crazy. I don't think you're getting closer. Too bad we are the witnesses. Maybe we're the participants, too. Do you need anything? No thanks. Everything needs already there. What I don't have, we can't help with. We read my fortune. Choose where I should open the book and read a line. What are you talking about? That's how you look at it. What do my words mean to you? Will you read my fortune from a book? Open in the middle, last paragraph. The dead will come and tell, and you will not be believed. What does that mean? I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. Interesting encounters. So I think the one person in the jacket might have not been a visitor. They might have not really activated the mechanic yet, but at the same time, they were hiding their teeth. They never showed them at any point. Good morning, dear visitors. This is the morning news. So activity remains abnormal. They might release other stuff later that's like, oh man, we let a visitor in earlier. Next predict that I will continue to testify. There are continuing reports from eyewitnesses about encounters with visitors. In response to the situation of 40s urgently ramped up FEMA operations. FEMA is an acronym for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA staff members wear a yellow hazmat suit. Staff members, you mean? The FEMA Special Committee started functioning recently, but they have discovered a new indicator of visitors. The FEMA Special Committee experts believe that besides teeth, visitors can be identified by dirt under their nails. Oh, that could be just like your average like person. You know, I mean, people are dirty? Especially like in this post-apocalypse? In support by FEMA, this was discovered during an inspection of one of the houses. Employees encountered a woman who had worked as a nurse. For an unknown reason, she had dirt on her nails. Given that visitors emerged from the ground, the woman was taken for testing. Her dangerous status was confirmed. If we notice anyone resembling a visitor, prompt to call contact FEMA members or call the hotline at 0451. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now let's move on to the news. Not you. Where's our new guest? Are you like living in like the kitchen or the closet knowing you? You live in the bathroom. Did you shave? No, it's just your thing. Listen to your words, human. Speak! I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Hands. No taboo, my friend. Watch my nails as long as you like. I've trained myself to get useful sunlight with them. And open beer caps. You're good. Do you just want to check it out? I thought, uh, you're just an evil man. What do you know about the cataclysm? A lot. I believe me, my friend, this is far from over. This is just the beginning. The scale has not yet been filled enough to balance universal powers. It takes more to be burned than the righteous flames of the sun. But no, my friend, these sacrifices will not be in vain. Some people will understand the true intention of the sun-faced one. Frank, sometimes at night I really miss my wife. She was a saintly woman. The real piece of work. How many victims are there? Thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea. No one will tell you so. So you don't have to your pants in fear. There are what number you come up with a triplet. That's probably close to the actual number of victims. Hands. Where did they even come from? Dirt on the fingernails? Is that supposed to be a sign? They can just wash their hands, that's all it takes. So, what, every gardener is a visitor now? That's ridiculous. Look at the nails. Well, am I a visitor? Of course not. Do you recognize a visitor? I don't think I know the plain truth. You ask me, who are the visitors? So here, I'll answer you. 
They are my different visitors from other planets. They are the descendants of aliens who came to Earth when the sun was younger and the grass was greener. They planned them in the soil like spots of evil and they've been ruining for eight years. Now they've crawled out and want to take our Earth. But the sun is there to protect us. The sun is unmilitary. Unmilitary to our visitors? Otherwise, why have they been hiding underground all this time? Unironically, I think you're right. The sun is protecting us. All right, let's go to bed. Okay. There's a small group of FEMA staff staying outside a neighbor's house. I wonder what they're talking about. Maybe they're talking soil samples. Or they're looking for a place to set up base. It makes me feel a little better to think that someone's trying to make sense of this nightmare. I don't see a light on over there anymore. Is our neighbor okay? The body of teenagers burned to death on the ground. They seem to have been lying there all day. Two emergency workers are staying next to the bodies writing something down. It's good that there are those who can remove the bodies. It's scary to imagine what kind of contagion would appear if the rotting body is not removed from the streets. Soldiers. There's a group of armed soldiers outside the window. Apparently there are small units sent here from the city to provide security for the EC. You can only hear bits and pieces of phrase about Pale Man or Bear Torso. That's the one we saw. Maybe they want to track down that creepy stranger. You feel relieved that there are people ready to deal with a dangerous guest in the streets. I think you're a killer. Why are you here? How's it going here? Is everything okay? I, uh, yeah, teeth are perfect too. Why are you ignoring my question? Listen, eh, 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 are, are you alone in the house? Just curious. You're just reading someone's fortune, promising salvation to some, driving some away. He's summarizing what I've done so far. I have people taking shelter here. You're lucky tonight. I can hear someone whispering in your rooms. But who knows what will happen tomorrow. So if I didn't have anyone here, he would have broken in and killed me. 100%. We should test that later. Can I rest at your place? Where are you heading next? I just want to fall down somewhere and never get up again. I don't care where I end up. Is your partner sick? That's my husband. He died. I can't bear him properly now. It's supposed to let him go now. Oh man, I'm so morbidly curious. Yeah, come on in. Don't think I'll stay long. I just need a break. I just really want to see your story. You could be a visitor. I didn't see your teeth or nails. See what's going on? Hell, Mungus. How's it going down here? What's going on? New opportunities, can't you frack and see? Everybody's whining and running around, fussing, but you can just do things from the heart, that's all. But you're happy and short. Teeth are not perfect. What are you offering? Survive, what else is there? Gotta make plans while we can to help the sun. Keep moving, you know, let's go, shall we? Sure, I am not seeing your hands. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, someone with some sense. It's so quiet at night. That blood? Hi, can I come in? Oh, you've been watching the house? Oh, no, of course not. It's rare for a house full of people to be so quiet at night. Someone forgets themselves in alcohol and yells. Someone screams in pain and burns. Someone just screams out unbearable sorrow. I feel like he is, he, this is a visitor, because he's talking, like, with symbolism. Who are you? Where did you come from? There's a hospital in the center of town. Yes, there was, but it became overwhelmed with patients when he couldn't cope. The scariest part is that many visitors infiltrated in such conditions. The situation sprawled so out of control that the entire hospital was shut down. It's pure chaos in there now. Ah, oh, I'm morbidly curious. I'm we gonna help someone. I don't percent let a visitor in. So no one else will come tonight. I feel in it, but we'll check their bodies later. Because it definitely seems there's like a post investigational part. Good morning, dear visitors. This is the morning news. The valiant FEMA staff members have organized for quarantine zones. 
and when showing signs of visitors is directed there. Sibyl expressed concern that the identity of visitors remains unknown. However, FEMA assures that they are merely ill individuals in need of assistance. Additionally, FEMA has identified a new indica indicator of visitors, intensely irritated blood-red eyes. The information was discovered through experience of Dane guests. According to FEMA, ex they could just be drunk. FEMA experts the irritation is caused by exposure to bright sunlight. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now let's move on to Ever News. Let's investigate, people. Go, 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 go! Eh, what's up? I might just kick you out. I need to check on you. Eyes. My eyes have been itching these days. You think it's from the sun or what? It's just some kind of disease. You're out. This I just came up with a scheme. Thanks to everyone who ever seen us human in the face. But how much will it make? What should we think about? Shoot. That guy sucked, anyways. Hmm. You check on you. We won't check. Eyes. Hmm, yeah, I'll shoot my eyes. That's what it means. But this is actually worse because of it. You think having two people to one eye would be handy. But alas. That's. curious. But he didn't, like, trip the thing. Hands. Because I've heard some people with these hands. There's so many stories, but we never time. Now please look. I feel like you're good. Check these arms tones, so I don't slack off. Who's what tomorrow might bring? That's so weird. I need to get some rest. You check on you. Eyes. You wanna check redness in the eyes? Go ahead, try. If I show emotion, does that make me a visitor? Can't person in this new world still cry? I've been laughing is already forbidden. You could just be sad because your husband's dead. Hold up. No joy allowed, no crying allowed. Sometimes speaking is allowed either. Go and sit and cover our faces of our hands. Teeth. What? Okay. That's it? Some quiet time alone? Hands. My hands are tired from carrying the one they refuse to save. When you're. If only shoot, just shoot. I don't have the strength anymore. I'm sorry, I'm just really exhausted. What are your like scary noises? Does that mean they're a visitor? Do they like, attack the next night? Maybe at the end of the game is when they do it. Neighbor's house, which was recently painted white, burned to the ground, is now completely black. The fire seems to have died down recently. Did someone set on fire on purpose? What happened to the neighbor's family? Did anyone survive? Why did they burn the house down? Your head is filled with anxious thoughts and a feeling of incomprehension and helplessness. Oh my god. A pale creepy man stands on the road and smiles. He has someone's head in his hand, wearing a helmet. Well, the troops failed to stop him. It's a soldier's head with a grimace of horror frozen on his face. You're very uncomfortable with what you see. Yep. Yeah. The entire squad of soldiers who were here yesterday are dead. The bodies are thrown over the street and not one of the bodies is missing a head. And that pale creepy stranger killed them all. You're horrified by this picture of carnage and you feel in danger. I'm for the FEMA crew. We're here to help you. You came alone? How can I trust you? You must have seen the news. We were there. I can also shoot my ID. Are you wearing a hazmat suit? Are we getting one of those? There's no reason to be afraid as soon as in case we catch a sunrise. Civilians don't need it now. Just stay home. We'll take care of you. I should actually I should be doing like this. Do you have an action plan? Of course. It's not like we can act spontaneously. We'll take any one person with us for an examination. Since you may have been exposed to solar radiation, we'll check the health of one. 
Based on that, we'll decide if you all need help. It can be anyone. Do I have to pack too? What's next? Wait. Ivor, we will evacuate from the dangerous area. We'll bring the man back to you. We will issue instructions either way. Now I'm taking the man from you. We'll go. Goodbye. I don't get to pick? Pick this one. What a mess. Did you see that? What kind of society is this? The beast right here revealed. Finally, nobody's pretending. Are you one of the beasts? We're all the same beast. Denied long enough, you'll need to be alive. No bones left. Now the new order is whoever is the strongest is right. Eris says he's not one of the kind of people who will be dead tomorrow. How many houses have you switched? I've been anywhere for a long time. But everywhere I see chaos, fear blinds people to so many things. You still have some order, that's interesting. I just see you keep it. You better leave. Ah, oh, so that's how it is. Wait for some news. You're- I just didn't like you. You seem like a liability in general. Let me in. Did something happen? Ah, uh, my, my daddy. Ah, uh, killed my dad. Who did this? Drink some water. We had visitors. They sat in our room. They was talking about something and then we- they had killed him. Ah, uh, house is now on fire. I don't know, you're not the visitor. Can they like, emulate you? Well, oh, come on then. Can you help me? I'm scared. Of... I just want to like, see the outcome. Because I don't know if they emulate people, or if they... You get what I'm saying? Or if they like, look like people. There's a distinction. One is, they spawn and then you just kind of like, look like whatever they think a human is. The other is, they pick a person and they copy them. But I haven't necessarily seen evidence that they copy people yet. I'm not from around here. I don't like staying in one place too long. Can't run around as much anymore. I'm getting too old for that. What do you travel? Yeah, those very ones. Have you seen what the visitor's up to? Every house someone's killed, someone else has torn apart. If it tend to be one of us, then man, all hell breaks loose. We do wipe out these visitors. Where's your weapon against the visitors? I had a gun. I almost got myself killed. They waited till I was asleep in the tent and stole my gun. I was running. They were shooting. That's the kind of fun they have. There's nothing human but a shell. Yeah, sure, why not? You want to push over a real man. We'll mix up with these visitors. They won't come near us by a mile. I guess you have to really kind of like let them in to kind of really identify them. Anybody home? Yeah, I'm not letting you in. Who are you? Looking for someone? I'm looking for anyone. I just need a place to hide. The whole neighborhood has been kicked out. No one knows where to go. Now I'm running around in shock looking for a place to live. Why did they kick you out? They said there was a big sunstroke or something on our house. Those in yellow suits kicked us out. Somebody was grabbed, taken for tests. Some were released. Better leave. Well, don't open the door to those yellow ones anyway. We generally don't open the door anymore. <laughs> I'll bring my people over here and help you save yourself. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm moving slower. I might have let a visitor in. Good morning, dear visitors. This is the morning news. It might be just the outcomes at the end. Fema continues to identify new signs of visitors. According to their data, attempts to photograph visitors result in severe blurring in the photos. The fit can only be observed with film cameras. Unfortunately, the reasons for this phenomenon have not been determined yet. Our FEMA urges citizens to use this new information to identify visitors. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Let's move on to other news. Just chilling right there. Oh, let's see if we hear that noise. One of you is a visitor. I'm hearing that scary noise again. I want my mama. I need to check on you. Photo. Photo? I'm in the photo photography. Will you show me a photo later? Taking a picture of the girl. Photo came out a little blurry. Grab to you without waiting for the end of the photo shoot. Hmm, thank you. I didn't like it. Trust me, take more and more pictures. Eyes. See everything I'm thinking of there? Careful when I think, then don't worry. 
Why do you look like that? So, oh, there. You, what? I want to drink. No, because they didn't give us the option to shoot. So she's actually normal. Let's check you out. Your eyes open the fish. It could be any one of us. Photo. We're like taking pictures. Flash reminds me of a thunderstorm. It makes me panic. No, you didn't get it. I'm not taking pictures. You. No, wait. You didn't see anything, little girl. I'm still hearing scary noises. You check on you. Photo. I think this is a mockery. You want to help see my husband now? You want to mark his death? I'm lost for words. You really want to don't touch me. The most in the frame, it makes you think. Now just go away. Would you? Photo. Take a picture? Mm hmm. Someone told me that I said hello to the solar leader himself? This time I'll look at the sun, but I'll tell you that sometime later. Come on, take a picture of me. Take a picture of a sloppy man. Just like in life, the picture is ungroomed and dirty. You don't know, notice the distortion. Very good job you did. Me, I'll tell you about my life. Just save me some money for it. Just save me the sun's energy. I, that noise bothers me. Should I just shoot? I can't, well, I can't shoot the girl until I find signs of her she's a thing. That could just be holdover for him, though. Let me check on you. Um, your hands are... Teeth. Teeth? Chewing my teeth? My teeth are still baby teeth, Dad, so I don't cry anymore. That's what I have. What does that mean? It's alright, isn't it? She has to be human. Like, she passed all the other signs. Let me check on you. Teeth, hands. I checked your hands earlier, right? Hands. My hands are tired from current when I refuse to save. Yeah. But. Is it just snoring? Like. Am I. Should we be concerned about the sounds? Going paranoid, man. Going paranoid! You know what? You don't have the other signs, but... Something bothered me about the... Thing with the body in the photo. Uh... We should shoot to be safe. Shoot to be safe! Let's get in this easily. No more pain. The body could have been a visitor. It was like they were put in body bags, though. The other ones were like... It was like a bloody mess. Alright, I'm just gonna go to bed. But the girl 100% passed. She, she passed every single test. Look at your neighbor's house. Only ghastly silhouette remains. You're devastated by what you've seen. It seems to disturb you even more to realize that it's not the evil guests who are to blame, but the people of paranoia. It brings you anxiety. You see a stake with a helmeted skull on it. There's some black burnt skin left on the skull, and the teeth look like someone pulled them out. The head has been here all day. The whole grim display looks like a fret surely left by that creepy pale visitor. There's a dead man hanging with Brenda from a lamppost with a sign around his neck. It says visitors are not welcome. The thought of violence engulfing a once peaceful and quiet town breaks your heart and makes you long for quieter times. We're the FEMA team, we need to survey your neighborhood. What about the last survey? Rolls are too mixed. I'm not sure the results here, the sample was too small. Why was one not enough? The sample was too small. The boss first had to take one at a time. Now we can see that we need more. So we went out again. All right, there's no other way. Yeah, there's no other way. It's all for your own sake. No, my bro! What if you're the 
the visitors. What do you think of that one in the suit? I don't know how to feel about him. What's not to know? Okay. Anyway, I don't care. I'm kind of busy. Can you come back later? I understand. Of course. I'll come back later. Just say, are you alone in the house? I've heard people take a shelter here. Getting ready. Do you know what you're getting ready for? It's the last days. Didn't they tell you? Dogs rule the world and my dogs will be here. Have a good stay. You could just be a normal human, but just crazy. What comes next is a terrible secret. How have you survived all this time? That's not the problem you should be worrying about, but thanks. You don't yet feel that the glaciers are going to melt anytime soon. Looks like we're in for the birds earning from the sky. Do you think things will get worse? Is there any point in thinking? I don't think we should bother our heads with it now. But if you keep talking or hide people, it's all the same. I have no thoughts on what to do. Which, what about other people? Why do you need this knowledge? No how much we've looked at others, we've got nothing but characters. Maybe the FEMA thing is they constantly take people from you. So it dwindles down your safe people. And then eventually you'll have no one. So if you kill too many people and like there aren't visitors, you eventually are just isolated and then the guy gets you. And that's how the game would end. It's no longer safe to live on the surface of the earth. You board up all the windows and barricade the doors. If you're conferring with your tenants, you decide not to go out into the outside world anymore. You pray helplessly that someday this will all be over. If this nightmare never ends. At the very least, you have peace of mind knowing that there are only humans under your roof. Okay, well, at least no one was a monster. Now let's just let everyone in. Okay, we're gonna do a run where we just don't let anybody in. Let's see if the man gets us. You better leave. Hmm, I understand. I understand you, but I'm angry. You're just as much of a coward as everyone else here. It's a bold night, homeowner. My bro. He was the first one I let in. Hi. Why are you here? How's it going here? Is everything okay? Wait, what do you want? Listen, hey, are you alone in your house? Just curious. You're just reading someone's fortune. My salvation is sometimes some way. I'm alone. <laughs> oh, come. It's hard to be alone. What's wrong with you? Come with me, young man. You don't know what happened when the last CS arrived. The house was left unoccupied for a long time. After a terrible disappearance, everyone that avoids the abandoned house. Super. Hmm, I know, I'm wondering what that last line was. Now this time around, we're gonna let everybody in. Come in. Thank you. Oh, thank you, really. Gotta live one more day. So yeah, 100%. If you have no people, then it's an instant fail state. And I guess the FEMA, like I said, the FEMA guy coming and taking people, I think it's just a way to force that fail state if you ran like, just like one or two people that you trusted. So we didn't, we haven't talked to that one person before. Where are you? Do you like live in the closet? You do, you just hide on the corner. Hopefully this will all be over soon. We know about the cataclysm. Oh, I don't even know what to say. Just look out the window and... Wish I hadn't looked there. The sun just burned some kids. I don't want to die from burning sun so badly. If I die quick and painless death, then die from sun and agony. Don't want to be burned to death. I don't know. I'm looking worse. I know I will gonna die. The visitors are very weak to sun, though. I'm sorry. I'm very worried. Check on you. Teeth. You can make decisions based on teeth. Uh-oh. I've had my teeth fixed recently. Although, to be honest... I can't remember I've been to the dentist. Have you even been to one? God, I can't remember what I ate just because of fear. Does does that fit the description? That can't be. I can't be a visitor, yes? I ever percent think she's a visitor, though. This is a coincidence, right? How can I be a visitor? Can't be. Can't be, can it? 
or in my life. Nothing in it, nothing like that. Thank you. But I want to see, like, a bad ending or something, theoretically, so... Maybe the visitors will, like, take out people. We haven't really seen the repercussions of having visitors, except for maybe, like, it changes the ending itself. So I made the right call the first day, 100% thank you, visitor. Come in. Thank you. Seems a bit low, low here, but I'll be fine. So here's my other theory, based on the, how the FEMA mechanic works is, I think the people they took were 100% not visitors. So the old man wasn't one, he was just a little quirky. What? I wish there was some warmth. Let me check on you. Hands. The hands I'll show you. It looks like I chipped them all or something. But take a look anyway. Yeah, you're a visitor and you just killed the guy. Can my fingers fit the sign of a visitor? God. You're out. You doesn't try living. We just, like, shot him, like, outright. I said here out, and we just shot him anyways. Okay, so I do understand. So if a visitor gets in a room... That means she might not have been one, maybe? Hmm. You can tell, if the old man gets in there with her and she, like, murders him, then, like, you know that's a visitor. Check on you. Hands. You're percent a visitor! You're out. So maybe all the signs have to line up. So the woman in there might- I don't know, man. They could have been. So Death Cain, Death someone was killed tonight. Yeah, so the visitor murders someone. That's just a ghost. I've never seen anyone in here, for the most part. You are hundred percent were a visitor. No. Who was murdered? I don't see anyone dead. Maybe that thing was outdated. It was what's his name who got killed. That's what I was just counting on. Hands. Teeth. So your teeth aren't perfect. What are you doing? You're out. Why did we go to shoot you? Those aren't perfect. Hmm. Perfect color. Eyes. Tell me if I match a sign. Yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, you're matching all the signs. Could be otherwise. Do you remember what happens to us all? You're out. Maybe it's enough to think that you're different and here you are the worst person for society. Hmm? Let me check on you. Well, I checked you before. Did I check your teeth? Perfect day. A friend of mine put them on for free. I prayed them a while ago. Now he's now. You're out. Oh, we can fix your teeth too. Cheap, of course, to help me out. So the sun man's over, that is. Yeah, see, he took a human. That's one of the people we know is confirmed human. I think that kind of like confirms it. Intelligent decision. Force now rules your life, and you have accepted again into trouble. I was actually debating if you were human. I actually kind of thought you might have been. And yeah, we know the little girl is human. Come in. Now, yeah, thanks. Don't open the door to those yellow ones, okay? It's gonna take us somewhere. Yellow ones?
Someone was killed tonight. Seems to have a guest. Seems to have a guest in your home. Okay, I want to see the photograph mechanic on people. Do you have a question for me? I need to check on you. Photo. Don't like having my picture taken. Those pictures don't end up in the trash that I'll have to take action. Do you understand that? You're taking a picture of the person you're talking to. You have to wait for them to make it show up faster. You know, that picture seems fine, but it's being snatched out of your hands. Give me, I'll throw them out myself. Yeah. Eyes. Look for a stranger in me. Aren't you afraid to see a reflection in my eyes? I'm impressed. That never can stand my gaze. So, 100% human. You were I was debating. Oh, son, please don't let anyone in. What do you think about killing? I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Photo. It's a long time since I was last photographed. Go ahead, why not? Take a picture of the person you're talking to. You're purposely old still and wait for the moment. When a photo shows up, you can see that's blurry completely. Why? You can't see me well? You're out. Can I keep it to myself? I don't even have any photos left. Eyes. What's the burst blood vessels in my eyes? Don't know how you're going to determine if I'm a visitor. What are you gonna do? How many times have you been wrong? So, the visitors have... You're strong by like two visitors right now. Let's do this. Check on you. Final confirmation. Photo. Take a picture of me? Let's do it. One thing, I'm really sensitive to light. I might flinch. Take a picture of the person you're talking to. I think the picture's okay, but the face... It's very smudged. Okay, we we're 100% right on you. I want to check you out. Check on you. Photo. We really like taking pictures. Flash months ago, thunderstorms makes you panic. No, you didn't get it. I'm not taking pictures. Check on you. Eyes. You don't want to color my eyes. Now, of course, this kind of life only gives us gray eyes. But I'll get them all. I'll turn them on my hands. Then we'll live in peace again. I accidentally drank a beer, damn. So they're gone. And they're gone. So... I mean, we already knew you are a visitor. So the wife... was human. That we confirm that now. They, they have to have all the... signs. Uh, you're a visitor. The person that was in here... The, the coat was a visitor. You're a visitor. And then... You actually are, aren't a visitor, you just don't like photos. You're a visitor though, 100%, and you're not a visitor. And let's go to bed. You don't laugh for those you let in, but too much blood has been spilled. You're too drained to stay in the house, you must leave. You're being driven out of your own home by people fearing for their safety. You didn't live one day and burned by the scorching sun outside. So, this is the ending where if you get a visitor to make it to the end, like, you only, like, leave one or two in there and everyone else kind of lives. You board up all the windows and barricade the doors. You pray helplessly that someday this will all be over. If this nightmare ever ends. Or just a relatively optimistic dream, optimistic dream you're having. In fact, your body was mutilated by guests. Who, given the opportunity to experience emotions, would only be glad to receive such a gift. Just one day short of. So, that's it for No, I'm Not Human. Um, this is apparently... I'm not sure if you'd quite call this a demo. This is part of a compilation of a few other horror games, which I might actually play. Um, but there is a fuller version coming out. So it's better to describe this one as uh, the simple prototype version. And then the full version, I think... I'm imagining it's going to be the same structure and pace. It looks like the big thing is it's going to be more randomized. And I'm assuming there's going to be more like people and visitors and things like that um and maybe more length but this is a 
Papers, Please kind of style horror game, but it plays a lot different than some of the other ones I've encountered. And I just really like the style on all levels. Uh, the way you kind of open the doors, like there's still a free dimension to it, but then you kind of open it into like a two dimension and the paranoia and all that stuff. So I will say one thing, there is one somewhat issue um, that I would maybe be concerned with, and that's in the game balancing in that the visitors, I guess when you do have an actual visitor, they take someone out the night they're there, right? I think there might be some logic to it, like it might be someone ideally in the same room as them or not. Uh, maybe there is a randomized aspect to it, I just didn't encounter it. But if it's not randomized and the harpist that takes someone out the night of, then that would make it too simple to uh, figure out who's a visitor once you've like made an error. So if they were to make that a little more randomized, so like maybe that person was a visitor, you know, that'd be a little interesting. But very fun, very cool game. Actually fairly creepy at times, like extremely, like when you're looking out that window and the guy's out there, the way he's kind of like in the distance and just like doing these weird little disturbing things, like very effective. And the surreal kind of distorted style and the people helps it with the whole like atmosphere. And also make it so you can't consistently like, oh, you look weird, you're, you're a straight visitor. Like, no, it, it's based on like logic once you get them in your house. Also in pursuit of the aforementioned ending, uh, I can do a hard confirmation of who's a visitor or not. So number one, visitors don't necessarily always have every single sign they're a visitor, but they will usually have the majority of the signs. And you can only really tell this by getting them to like the final day and having everything available to you. So Jacket Guy is a visitor. He does not have red eyes though. That's the only one he's missing, but he has everything else. The guy who wants to kill the visitors is in fact a visitor. He blocks you from using the camera. He is missing one sign also, but he does have everything else. The scamming guy that wants you to turn on everybody. We already know that one was obviously a visitor. The one that looked like she escaped from a hospital, that was her percent a visitor. And the larger woman towards the end that claims she's part of some town or something is a hard percent a visitor also, as you saw. So to summarize, escaped hospital patient, jacket, scam artist, person who really hates visitors, odd woman that's part of some other town. So aside from the sad wife, I was 100% right on my initial run guesses. Of course, I didn't let the one guy in who turned out not to be a visitor, but like I said, I didn't like his attitude, so I didn't want him in there in general. In fact, in some of my test runs, the female actually does take the wife, and I believe they only take humans to isolate you with the visitors or try to eliminate you from the game as a gameplay mechanic. But yeah, looking forward to the full version. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play No I'm Not a Human. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.